Hi guys, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to explain how some wireless carriers use marketing to take advantage of seniors. Seniors are people who have worked multiple careers, they've raised children, and they've lived through a lifetime of technological advances. Computers used to take up the size of a whole room, now they fit in our pockets and there are phones. But that's not how companies like Great Call talk to them. They talk to them as if they're these doddering old fools who don't quite have the mental fortitude to deal with new technology, but that's simply not true. And the genius behind what we call the doddering old fool marketing strategy lies behind who the commercial's target actually is. And it's not the senior citizen themselves. It's the adult child of the senior citizen who Great Call thinks is going to be making this purchase decision for the frail old helpless person that is, you know. So as we watch the commercial that we're gonna break down, mm -hmm. Ask yourself, is this someone who I would trust with my children? Because the person that they portray in the commercial, the senior there, is a young and vibrant and healthy and happy person. And clearly intelligent by the and, setting of the commercials. Right. But then the way that they talk to them and talk about them is completely disrespectful. And the seniors that I've spoken with are sick of being talked to like they're idiots right. by cell phone companies. So let's dive into that commercial. Mm -hmm. As a working mom, I'm thankful my mom is able to help out. Awesome. So I bought her the all-new Jitterbug Flip from Great Call. So right off the bat, you're put into the shoes of the working mom. Mm -hmm. She is the voice of this commercial. Mm -hmm. And there's a thing called reciprocity, where if somebody does something nice for us, we do something nice for them. Mm -hmm. It's a marketing technique that's used all the time. So. What's happening here is this working mother is saying thank you to her mom by giving her the all new Jitterbug Flip smartphone. So it's kind of like saying, hey mom, and thanks for you taking care of my kids, I'm gonna give you this crappy old flip phone. Yeah. And trust us, giving your mom a crappy old flip phone is not a way to say thank you for yeah. everything that she does for you. Right. It's a cell phone she actually enjoys using. It's a cell phone she actually enjoys using. And there are two pieces of this little sentence that have to do with marketing. The first part should be the rest of the sentence, which is, it's a cell phone she actually enjoys using, unlike new technology, which is too difficult for her to understand. And the second part is a little bit more subtle, but it has to do with reciprocity again, where it's implying that she's not going to enjoy a cell phone that's more complicated with like all a, these newfangled bells and whistles. Like an iPhone that like, can take nice pictures right. and you can watch videos on. Right. The implication is that if you give your mom a cell phone that is too complicated, she's not going to enjoy using it. You're basically a bad person. So just be, you know, it's, it's amazing the amount of marketing stuff you can get into one sentence. Yes. Yeah, in front of the T-Rex. She loves it and takes it everywhere. What? In front of the T-Rex, you say? Yeah, the T-Rex, yeah, the dinosaur. The you, dinosaur, yeah. she's a dinosaur. Yeah. So then why don't we just put her in a dinosaur museum? Yeah, well, you know, what they could have done here too is they could have gone to a museum like, oh, the moon landing. She's a senior, she grew up in that generation. Right. It's instead technology they're just, in the future, and instead they're going with the dinosaur. They're just saying she's a dinosaur <laughs> and she can't understand. Yeah. It's so easy to use. And with a larger screen and bigger buttons, it's even easier to dial. Let's send it to her. So we're finally getting into some of the features of the phone. Uh, it's screen is bigger, bigger buttons, and those aren't true. I mean, if you look at a flip phone's buttons, they are significantly smaller than the buttons on the iPhone keypad. Mm -hmm. uh, the screen is, I think that phone specifically is about three inch screen three size, inch screen. which is half of the iPhone. Mm -hmm. And one more thing about the iPhones too, is that you can actually go into the accessibility settings, bump up the font, bump up the size of apps, bump up the size of buttons on the phone. Uh, you can't do that on a flip phone. So this whole conception that a flip phone is easier to use because the buttons are bigger and the screen is large. It doesn't make Larger any sense than at all. What? Yeah, and then it's, first off, it's just not true as David said. And second, it's like, why is this person taking care of the daughter's children if she's so incapable of understanding like how to hit a phone button on an iPhone that she can't understand how to work one of these new phones? I just, the person you see in the commercial doesn't match up to the person who they're describing. Well, the thing too is in the commercial, you have a young, a, a young senior yep. who's at a museum so clearly she is an intelligent person and right. you know can go out in public and take care of the kids and <laughs> she's probably yeah she's you know bathing herself and everything <laughs> this, this is not an idiot but they talk to her like she is and seniors that i've talked to are sick of it yes there's also a five star button on the keypad so i know she can always get help so they bring up five star here and we go more in depth in this in our cell phones and cell phone plans for seniors article on upphone.com uh but 
we looked at Five Star, and it really isn't that great of a service. Mm -hmm. And they say that she can always get help when she needs it, but that might not necessarily even be true. Mm -hmm. With Five Star, you press this button, and then you're connected to a call center full of people who can address an emergency situation or, and know what to do. They're trained, and we're going to get to that in the next part of the video. But what they don't tell you is that there's a monthly fee. If you don't pay the fee, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. And in certain parts of the country, and this is in the fine print, they're not going to call emergency services for you unless they can verify that you're actually having an emergency by talking with you. So if there's something going on where you can't speak, then they're not going to send anybody to help you out in some parts and you're on your own. So you're not really getting the help that you need whenever you need it. Right. And you're paying a monthly fee for a service that might actually harm you. Whereas 911, if they don't hear you, they're going to send somebody to your location. It's free. And I'm pretty sure that seniors are smart enough to know whether or not they're having an emergency. Mm -hmm. Like they can call 911. Yes. And I think that for myself, if I had to ask, would I rather, when I get in an accident or something, call Five Star to have them make the call or just call 911? I'm uh, calling 911. Absolutely. Yeah. One touch of the Five Star button turns the jitterbug into a personal safety device. In any unsafe or uncertain situation, you'll be immediately connected to a highly trained agent who can confirm your location, assess the situation, and get you the help you need. Enter John Walsh, the former host of America's Most Wanted. He's a trustworthy guy. I'd say so. He must know what he's talking about right. when it comes to cell phones for senior citizens. You know, in fact, I bet he uses one of these phones himself. I highly no, <laughs> no, no chance. He is this watchful guardian who is the symbol of protecting us from danger. And he uses the terminology, it becomes a personal safety device. So once again, we're selling to the adult child of the person, mm -hmm. not the senior themselves and we're scaring them, adult children of senior citizens, any children of, you know, parents, children yeah. with parents are afraid that something's gonna happen to their parents. It's kind of a built-in thing. We wanna protect our parents. So yeah. Yeah. that's what they're keying in on here. And they're saying that by buying our phone, you're gonna protect your parents from disaster. It's not true. By the way, you know, an iPhone can be a personal safety device. You have emergency SOS, medical contacts, medical ID, mm -hmm. you have find my iPhone and share my location. So if you're off, you know, someone say, oh, my uh, parent is over here. Right. There they are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and oh, by the way, you don't have to touch your iPhone to call 911. You can have Siri do it for you. Yes. So you don't have to even be able to touch your phone. It could be across the room. You know, you might drop your five star personal safety device and yeah. I mean, anybody can use Siri to call 911. Yes. And it's a lot safer than this. Now it's easy for us to stay in touch. What'd you say? So cute. Now it's easy for us to stay in touch, but not really because mm -hmm. with a jitterbug flip phone, you can't video chat someone, which is one of the best ways to stay in touch because you get the voice and the face and you're yeah. actually like it's having a conversation with someone. Yep. You can't do that in a flip phone. How about text messages? I was about to say text messages. Yeah. It is, it's almost impossible to text on an A9 keyboard. Yep. Uh, A9 meaning, yeah, go ahead. The, uh, like the numbers, you know, you got to type. To get a C, you have to type the two key three times. Three times, yeah. right. Hello is 13 keystrokes Thir on a tiny little keyboard. And if you miss one, you're back to the start. It's, yep. it's a real pain. It and is. especially with these flip phones too, they aren't the best phones. So sometimes they'll slow down and it, take, it really drags out that Yeah, David phone. was telling me. I, I used yeah. to have a flip phone. And over time, I noticed that it just kept getting slower and slower and slower. So I'd be trying to text. The keyboard would not be moving quickly. I'd com uh, com consistently miss characters. And it would take me five to 10 minutes to send a, you know, 100 word text message. Mm -hmm. And it was just, it's, it's unbearable. Right. Companies like these come right out and say that their phones are simple. Simple like the people who they think will be using them. Simple phones for simple minded seniors. They don't come out and say that, but they just don't think that their customers are smart enough to mm -hmm. be able to handle things on an iPhone. Like on an iPhone, if you want to make a phone call, you have to hit the phone button. Yeah. Oof. If you want to send a text message, you have to hit the big button that says messages. If you want to type something, you have to use a keyboard that's exactly the same as the keyboard seniors grew up with. I know, right? <laughs> it's like iPhones are easier to use yeah. than this stupid little phone that they're trying to charge you an overpriced plan for and charge you money for. Mm -hmm. And so the phones that they're trying to sell are a reflection of the way that they see their customers and they can't understand new things. You know, they think that their customers can't learn. They think that they're helpless and seniors are anything but helpless. And they're just normal people who can learn just like the rest of us. Yes. And if you want to learn what our actual top picks are for cell phones for seniors, mm -hmm. we have a card up there and a link in the description to that video mm -hmm. um, where we actually walk through 
A lot of what we talked about here, and then we say, we explain why an iPhone or a Google Pixel 3a is really a great fit for a senior. Mm -hmm. Yep, senior citizens aren't as frail and useless and helpless as companies like Great Call would like you to believe. Instead, they're vibrant people who love new technology. And I hope that seniors watching this video will hope that, you know, I hope that they re understand that we respect them. Yes a lot so yeah so thanks for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed leave us a comment down below we'd love to hear from you or your experience with a carrier like great call if you have had great calls your service we'd love to hear from you yep. and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about cell phones and cell phone plans